I've always been a drama student, so once I got to high school and I saw they were offering singing lessons, I took part in Bugsy Malone and that got me into singing lessons and I've been doing it ever since. I was never allowed to drum kit when I was younger. Uh, I had to play football, that was it. Dying to have a drum kit. Finally bought a drum kit when I was 19, went to music college and started from scratch. I fell into music completely by accident. Um, it was at primary school initially and I had a fantastic uh, music curriculum teacher called John Duncan and he um, inspired everybody. He got everybody in the class to play brass and I um, opted for the biggest instrument was a, which was a B flat bass and I just took it from there working with the you know brass band for years and kind of fell into singing by accident and singing teaching so a lovely accident. I started having piano lessons when I was six years old. My parents signed me up for lessons with a local piano teacher and I'm so grateful to them for doing that because when you're young you don't necessarily know what you might be interested in but if you try out lessons on an instrument you can find out whether you actually really enjoy it or not. It's actually um, studied in universities as, as making your memory really, really sharp. Um, and I think, uh, you know, the music curriculum is great and just get involved and, and, and do that. I think, um, it, I think if you don't do music or anything that is done with like expressive arts like drama or anything like that, I don't think it gives you the same confidence. What, whatever kind of job you go into, you will have to kind of talk to people and present yourself and handle yourself and this gives you good skills to do that. Well, having lessons structures your learning because at the moment I'm learning a saxophone. I don't have lessons but and it's fairly sporadic. If I had lessons I suppose even now it would structure me and point me in the right direction of what things to what things I can learn, improve on and what I could achieve. Uh, basically, my teachers were there opening the door for me. It was up to me to go through and to investigate all the different rhythms from around the world, all the different styles, trying to incorporate it all so I could become a better drummer. I wasn't having as many lessons and I was on, I think it was a D, and now my latest performance has gone up to an A, so I think that's quite an improvement. We have obviously the wealth of reality television like the you know, X Factor and The Voice and things like that that make this look really easy, which in fact most of the people that go on there, um, they've already had training for years and they're marked up by record companies and go on anyway. We, we usually put people on uh, that show, you know, so um, it's important to get a little bit of training because it can make you a better singer, um, whatever kind of starter level that is and whatever kind of music you're into. For me, instrumental lessons are essential to ensure that you are able to achieve as much as possible when you pick up an instrument. You can try to teach yourself and there are many ways you can learn now online and in books that you can buy yourself, but there's no real replacement for a teacher being there to spot things you are doing wrong and to suggest things to change. You have a lot more energy you have, and you, you can put more into it now. I think the sooner you get into it, the more you enjoy it and the more you can develop as you get older. You probably think you're very, very busy at the moment, but believe me, as you get older and other things, um, such as families and going to work and things start to happen, you might find actually that this time of life it isn't as busy as you think it is. They're but cheaper than normal places. Yeah, They're cheaper. Uh, they're easier to do than something like Dawson because it's in school. Um, you don't have to travel anywhere. You you're already in school. school so they look after your instrument because it's in the cupboard. You don't need to buy an instrument. Good for everyone. Yeah. We offer a whole range of different instruments here at Great Sankey, including many which you can take home to practice on during the week. You know, some people just think you go there, have a quick thing, and then you don't go learning anything and you just forget about it. and then just go there like to get our lessons but it's completely the opposite because you, you can learn so much and really develop your skills and it can lead to so many great things. It's actually quite a relaxed environment which I wasn't expecting because it's still a teacher and student and you get a lot more attention because it's one to one. It just 
Do you want to know? I know all about it. So if you want to know anything about it, that'd be I'm the best person to ask. Whatever style of music that you might want to want to play. Like. <laughs> If you're interested to learn an instrument here at Great Sankey, but you're not sure which instrument to go for, why not go on YouTube and look a few up? You can watch musicians playing these instruments, and you may be surprised about some of the instruments which you discover which you'd actually really like to try. You can always put in a letter and ask for lessons for a half term, and then if you don't enjoy that instrument, you could cancel them or switch to another instrument. The teacher was asking if anyone wanted to take up music lessons or vocal lessons in general, and I, I, was, I was a bit shy and I decided not to at first, but the second time I thought, I had a word with my parents and I thought, no, this is a really good opportunity for me. And I, I just thought, you know, what's not to miss? It's worth giving it a go and I've never looked back since. Why not take a letter from your music teacher, have a read of it and talk to your parents about it? It's worth trying out at least one instrument while you're here because you never know if you might really enjoy an instrument once you start it.